Welcome to the last lecture of the course. Let's get started. Let's take a look at our objectives. To explain the nature of a servlet and its operation. To use the appropriate servlet methods in a web application. To code the extraction of environment entries within a servlet. To handle HTML forms within a servlet. To explain the significance of web application states. And to explain the purpose and operation of HTTP cookies and their role in state management. So let's look at Java servlets. A servlet is a Java program that is invoked by a web server in response to a request. Together with web pages and other components, servlets constitute part of a web application and they can create dynamic HTML content in response to a request, handle user input such as from HTML forms, access databases, files and other system resources, and perform any computation required by an application. Servlets are hosted by a servlet container such as an Apache Tomcat. The web server handles the HTTP transaction details and the servlet container provides a Java virtual machine for servlet execution. So let's take a look at some servlet methods. Servlets have three principal methods as you can see here. The default Dot .service method simply invokes method specific methods depending upon the http request method Here's an example This servlet will say hello in html When it comes to servlet configuration the web application configuration file web.xml identifies servlets and defines a mapping from requests to servlets. Here's another example. When it comes to environment entries, servlets can obtain configuration information at runtime from the configuration file, web.xml. This can include a file name, a database password, etc. Here's another example from in web.xml. We have the init method of the servlet and another example right here. When it comes to handling HTML forms, a HTML form can be sent to a servlet for processing. The action attribute of the form must match the servlet URL mapping. Here's another example again. Here is a simple form servlet. As you can see, we have the print in, we have the hello in HTML, and we even have our user ID, all coming from a form. Now, be sure to head on over and take a look at the final project and final exam. Because you, my friend, have completed all of the lectures now you just have the two last sections to complete before you finish the entire course. I'm extremely proud of you and I'm glad that you chose to learn from us. And from here, I wish you good luck with your future endeavors.